Packers close preseason with 1915 victory over Seahawks. Green Bay Packers quarterback Jordan Love, 10, is tackled by Seattle Seahawks cornerback Artie Burns, 23, in the first half of a preseason NFL football game, Saturday, August 26, 2023, in Green Bay, Wisconsin. AP Photo, Mike Romer. Green Bay, Wisconsin, AP, Jordan Love ended the preseason the way he wanted as he gets ready for the challenge of taking over for a four-time MVP. Love threw a touchdown pass to Christian Watson in his third and final series of the day and the Green Bay Packers defeated the Seattle Seahawks 19-15 on Saturday in the last preseason game for both teams. This game represented Love's last tune-up before he begins his first full season as the Packers' starting quarterback after the trade of Aaron Rodgers to the New York Jets. Love, a 2020 first-round pick from Utah State, has made one career regular season start. I think for me it was just going out there and wanting to feel comfortable," Love said. Playing the same way I play in practice is a big thing for me. Not having it feel any different out there, any nerves or anything like that. That was the biggest thing for me. And I did that. Love went 9 of 15 for 63 yards and had 3 carries for 21 yards against a Seattle defense consisting mostly of reserves. He went 21 of 33 for 193 yards with 3 touchdowns and no interceptions in 3 preseason starts for the Packers, 2-1. Love's 6-yard touchdown pass to Watson capped a 15-play, 80-yard drive and came after he had overthrown an open Watson on a deep pass earlier in the series. The Packers made a field goal and went 3-and-out in Love's two other drives. The Seahawks, 2-1, rested Smith and most of their starters on both sides of the ball Saturday, giving backup quarterback Drew Locke the chance to lead Seattle's offense for virtually the entire game. Locke made 21 starts for the Denver Broncos from 2019-21, but didn't appear in a game last season. He went 16-25 of 25 for 150 yards with a touchdown pass Saturday. Locke also led a 10-play, 89-yard drive that culminated with Sarah Doric Thompson's one-yard touchdown run that gave the Seahawks their first lead with 6.38 left in the game. Seahawks LB Devin Bush sustained a concussion. Seahawks S Joey Blunt and OLB Derek Hall suffered shoulder injuries. Packers WR Romeo Dubes didn't play because a hamstring injury. Packers LB Devondre Campbell was out because an ankle injury.